Um, can you speak just a little bit more of, to your last point? Um, in the 50 largest U.S. cities, only 52% of children graduate from high school. So why is it um, that children today aren't um, adhering to the, <coughs> excuse me, the great American national myth? I mean, is it something to do with the schools themselves? Is it something to do with the families? Is it something to do with the messaging um, that we're giving our children? Right. Well, we have several problems. Um, we have not reacted as a country to globalization fast enough in terms of its implications for the American work Workforce and for Education. And so the disconnect between the jobs that are actually available as a result of globalization and the jobs for which most Americans are prepared has been growing over time. And right. we've lost time. Uh, secondly, um, I do believe that some of the problem of the breakdown of the family structure um, is uh, at fault. I know that my mother often said that in her last couple of years of teaching it was the hardest time because she didn't feel that she had the parental support that she could count on yes. uh, even in the poorest circumstances uh, in Birmingham. But that's not fully an excuse. I started a program with um, uh, some friends in 1992 called the Centers for a New Generation and it's an after school and, uh, and summer enrichment program for kids in East Palo Alto and East Menlo Park. It's a very poor area, uh, very close to Stanford. And what was remarkable to me is the degree to which even if these parents were not particularly comfortable in the milieu of education, they cared about what happened to their kids. Mm -hmm. They simply didn't really have access to doing for their kids what they wanted to do. So um, somehow uh, the breakdown of the family is in part to, uh, to explain but mobilizing parents uh, doesn't seem to be a problem if you really uh, work at it. The final point really does go to the schools. And uh, look, I, I understand the importance of self-esteem. But I've always thought that self-esteem actually came from accomplishing something, uh, not from uh, being told that you had accomplished something even if you hadn't. Um, it goes all the way from, you know, everybody gets a medal on the soccer team to um, uh, a something I was relating to Skip earlier. I was helping my cousin's daughter do her homework a few years back and she said nine times five is 40. And I said, uh, that's, not, that's not right. I said, that's wrong. She said, there are no wrong answers. <laughs> I thought, yeah, there are. Nine times five is 40 is one of them. Mm -hmm. And so um, <laughs> it's really important somehow that there be uh, that excellence be demanded of the students, that excellence be demanded of the teachers, and uh, I sometimes think that standards have simply slipped. They've simply slipped.